Hi there. It's June from Paints, Pots and Paper. Um, haven't been here for a while. Um, got struck down by the dreaded. And I've been ill for two weeks with it, uh, which wasn't much fun. I just suddenly woke up a couple of weeks ago with a tickly cough. And it went downhill from there. Had a wheezy chest. I was in a lot of pain, spent a lot of time on my bed because I couldn't get comfortable. I get um, arthritis in my hips anyway and I've got peripheral neuropathy, but uh, this was all over. And uh, yeah, headaches and that, and just, and so tired, so tired all the time. But anyway, beforehand I was about to do a video for you, but there was, there was just no way I could do it. And then as I started to feel better, of course, we had the really hot weather here in the UK, well, in the south anyway. Well, most of the UK had it hot, but it's still quite warm in the south, but it's not as bad. Well, bad, it's been nice, but, um, yeah, so I haven't been able to do it. I've just been too tired and too ill to do anything. Anyway, hopefully, touch wood, I'm mending now. I'm feeling a lot better. This is the first time I've had any energy. And uh, so anyway, I thought I'd come along and show you what I've been doing. And to, I've just been backing these um, tags to go in the boho journals. But I'll show you what I've done. I've stitched them in, both stitched. And I've also beaded the backs. The, uh, I've done the uh, ends so they hang out the back rather than in the middle and beaded them with multicoloured beads because as you know the whole thing is very multicoloured and um, yeah all my oops, that's going to go in all my signatures are now stitched in I think well my signature yeah signatures because there's one in each they're quite a big signature and there's lots to go in them um, I did splatter some pages with some lovely gold so I put them in and of course I've done stenciling and that they're both very very similar but they're not identical but they're both on the same sort of theme and um, I had a route through and I found I've got well, there's a couple of pockets in here but I've got some pockets that are finished and ready to go in so I thought I'd start putting them in and I've also got these which I've just sat and glued today which are some circular boho pockets um, that I got from, it was from an Etsy shop. I can't think of the name of it, but I will definitely list it in the description because uh, they do some really lovely things. And these, they did these really unusual circular boho pockets. And excuse my arm. I'm just seeing if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Um, yeah, and there's all these uh, tags, circular tags that go in the pockets. Now, I didn't have the right cutters for my die cutting machine. Actually, I should amend that I have got the right cutters, but the ones I needed for these sizes, I couldn't find. Everything, all the others there, not those, of course. So. I've cut them all by hand. They're a little bit jaggedy around the edges. They're not perfect, but I don't, now they've been inked, I don't think they'll really notice. And of course these go in the various pockets, like so. And I don't know yet whether I want to put some kind of tags on the tags, tags on the tags, tabs on the tags, I could say, um, or not. But I, I think I may put something on there because otherwise they're going to be a bit awkward to get in now. But anyway, that's the, the idea of them. I thought they were quite lovely. So I will definitely list that below. If I forget, then please remind me if you need to know. But I will do my best to remember. I've got a lot to catch up on. Hell of a lot. But yeah, so these little po these pockets come in all sizes. They go right down to tiny ones. These ones are quite quite fiddly to glue together, but, and I think I need to open them up a little bit. But anyway, 
you get the idea. So I thought I'd put some of these in. And I believe I did two lots of each so that I've got the same in each journal. Um, I've also got these two floating pockets that I did one each for the journals. Um, all the pockets. I'm trying to see where it opens. Oh, that's it, yeah. Little um, envelope pockets. And I did one each for each journal. And um, yeah, obviously I've got to put tags and things in those. Uh, what else have I got to go in? Um, oh yes, these these ones. I did one of these for each journal, which are book page pockets. They're double pockets, and they're done by obviously folding book pages. That that's the idea I got from Gail Agostinelli, I believe. Sorry, Gail, I think that's how you pronounce your name, but I'm not certain. Um, yeah, and they, they turned out quite nice. So I've got one each of those for each journal. Um, so far, I've just done two corner flips. So they'll be nice. Put in somewhere and you'll put something in there and open it up. I'm right on there. I hope I'm in a bit off, aren't I? Sorry. That's it. Um, yeah, you can write in there and so they will be going in. Um, where else? I've also got these little tucks, tucks or pockets that will go in somewhere. I may put a couple on a page or something of those. Um, I've got a couple here of these colourful ones that I made they've got to be glued yet but they'll be going in once they're glued the length of the page and um, I've got a couple of these I have got to decorate some that one's got to be decorated but that's a triple pocket which goes on a page which is nice it's like like the edging round it and that's a smaller triple pocket that one's been decorated so that will go in somewhere and that one's got to be decorated and there's another one that is done ready to go in and there's another bigger one ready to go in i don't know whether i've got an amount of those i think i have I have another, another one of those bigger ones somewhere. I've got two that size, two that size. And yeah, floating around somewhere. There's probably another one. If not, I'll make another one to make it equal in both journals. So as you know, I'm doing two. Well, obviously I'm doing two at the same time. So anyway, there we go. So I thought I'd get some of these put in. So I can decide where they're going. Now, this is a flip out that I made for writing on and it will go on the page and that's been reinforced so that will stick down so it can be turned over that way and written on that can be written on there if you want to that's been embossed with um, acrylic paint so it's quite textural and then that opens out like that and you write in there that's going to go but I'll decide that's going to go in the front But not on there. Instead of having a pocket at the front, I thought I'd have one of these at the front. Because it sits quite nicely there. So I'm going to start by putting that one in. I think I've got one ready to go in the front of this one as well. I did have, yeah, there it is. That's the one I've made for the front of that one, I hope. Sorry, I'm a bit out of practice with this. And I'm wondering if I'm in camera. I need to move over this way a bit. I really don't know or do you move your camera over? Sorry about this, don't go to see. That's better, I think this. Yeah, I think you can see it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just trying to get it more or less level. Should have sorted this out before, but you know, it's like you haven't done these things for a while. That's it. 
think that's about as good as it's going to get. So what I'm going to do is um, get the, these two glued in at least and see how we go on from there. I can't sit too long because I have got backache down full of full of this, that and the other, aren't I? Um, yeah, I've, I've got a, a backache where I've been sitting gluing and stuff, I think. And um, yeah, so, but I have just taken some I'll be proud of them for it, so maybe they'll work. It feels a little bit better already, actually, so hopefully it will stay away. It's the only problem when you put the beads in the middle, they get in the way of flattening the, the cover. Oh, but let's have a go, let's put these in. So, anyway, that's enough of my tales of woe. I hope you've all been okay. Let me know what you've been doing. Of course, my glue is blocked because it's been shut for a couple of minutes, really. So, I had to put a bit of water in it because it was, um, it had gone pretty gloopy and all the heat out here, I suppose. So, it was all about. Using the art glitter because it does stick so well. And trouble it doesn't give you very long, does it? And uh, so you've got to make sure you get it in the right place. And of course, as I said, it will probably go in the wrong place. But I'm going to try it there. Right by the edge. I tend to move things towards me when I'm working and before I've had the camera way too far so you'll have to let me know if this is about right Just for a minute more. burn folder this is fantastic this burn folder it gives a nice doesn't catch the edges up but if you want a sharp crease you can have one with the other side but yeah it's a lovely little burn folder doesn't do everything, but it's good for most things. Let's have a look, see if that's going to work. Right, we have to open up, that's it. So glad to at last see these stitched together and coming together. And I am enjoying doing them. That's it, that's just about right there. That just opens nicely. I'll leave that open to dry for a minute, although that the side of art glitter doesn't take long, does it? To dry. And let's get number two in. Okay, in the same place. Okay, wrong glue. I don't want to lose that ease or something, but I have it opening over so then we don't lose the inside picture either. Or a teeny bit of it, but not enough to worry. Yeah, I would have filmed um, gluing and um, gluing these on and gluing the pockets together, but I thought it might be a bit boring, to be honest. I enjoyed doing it, but, you know, 
to watch it. I suppose I could have done the last couple, but um, just thought, well, I'll get them done. I was so pleased to get back in here. I just couldn't wait to get started on things. Yeah, we've had, uh, this week, we've had really hot weather. I don't mind, but there's been no breeze. Today is the first day we've had a breeze, and it's been a little bit cooler. I think it's been about 26 today. Um, and so we've had a bit of a breeze, which has made it bearable in here. And, um, but it has been really, really hot. So I, I don't mind. That's a bit crooked. And so I don't, I don't mind the heat if there's a breeze. I mean, I'm, I'm going off on holiday beginning of October to um, the Canaries. And um, where we go for, for Ventura. No, that's not going to play. I don't know. So I'm just seeing if I can get this. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm off to Fuerteventura Ventura and um, I think last year with my daughter, so I thought we'd go again this year because it was lovely. And I was a bit worried about it being too hot, but for any of you who've been there, you'll know there's a almost constant breeze. And it just makes it totally bearable, it's lovely. Bearable, I can completely put up with it. That's it, that's that one in. Let me get it back. We've still got some other picture there, which is lovely. I didn't really want to lose that, I thought it was too nice. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this side yet. Um, no, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on there. I might put a fabric flip, actually. But then I'm going to have to put something underneath right on it, aren't I? So I don't really know. Not sure. I can't make up my mind. I know you can't help covering some of the pictures sometimes, but that seems too nice. Unless I put a... Perhaps a side pocket on, so I don't cover it all up. Perhaps keep that side. I don't know. I'll keep that side. Maybe I'll put one this side to tuck in that way. Uh, either way, it still leaves some of the pictures, so I may well do that. Now, this has got this pocket here, so that doesn't need particularly need a pocket on it at the moment. Um, yeah, it's deciding where I want these and what I want where, basically. I haven't got an, a clue, I really haven't where to put them. Um, let's have a look. The big pockets I'm going to leave for the moment because I'm not sure where I want them. Um, now these are floating envelopes so they'll be clipped in. I might put some of these circular pockets in for now and see how they go. So I've got two of the same for each journal. Of course, when I can find them amongst my mess. I'll put them over here with the pocket. Well, that's too easy, isn't it, for me? Well, excuse me while I have a quick sip of my tea. It's beautiful, it's about quarter to six now, I think, in the evening. I had to wait till late because we've got builders over the back, as you may know. Um, they don't finish till about half past four and they've been using their big machinery today as well, very noisy. And to the left of us, they're building another house and the builders were there until about five. And then my partner decided when they'd finished, he'd go and mow the lawn. So it's just been impossible sound-wise to do anything. So, uh, yeah, so I apologise for it being a bit late. And I'm still wanting to get a new light for in here. A brighter one. Now, where do we want these circular ones? I don't know where to start. Let's just start with the biggest ones. I don't know whether... Go 
going into each other now. Yep, off. Um, no, I don't have it down here. Oh, well, I've got the circular. But if I put it down here, then I could put it so that uh, they've got a thin tag, but so that a thin tag could back go behind it. Well, I think I'll. Or a journal sheet could be folded and tucked in there, couldn't it? Now, there's an idea, but I don't know what page I want it on. I don't know really whether to put it on a pattern page or a plain page. Well, that was quite nice. Let's have a look at these ones, butterfly ones. One of that is pretty on there, isn't it? It does hide the paintbrush, but it does look lovely on there. All there. Oh, it's difficult, isn't it? I, I am so indecisive, I can never make up my mind about things. It's dreadful. My poor daughter and my partner go around the bin with it. My son does, and he's just used to it. Bless him. Um, thinking of the cut all those colours go, I don't know. Let's take that off there. Although oh, there's a butterfly. I think I might have to put that on there. Just to correspond the butterflies. That's a nice idea. So that can go on there. Yeah, and I think I will try and leave some of the top open. So if I just glue it down. Sorry for muttering. <clears throat> if I just glue it down from just above the tuck. That should work. And I think I'll put it to one side like that so there's room. Or should I do it centrally? Hmm, see decisions, can't make decisions. Hopeless. I think I'm gonna have it to one side. I'm gonna have it to one side. I don't know why I'm just down. Should I get the what do I want it about there? I don't know why I'd all this lovely. Boys, actually, I'm going to put it here because that bit is beautiful, isn't it? It's all pretty, though, isn't it? Oh my god, so <laughs> I'm hopeless. Somebody tell me. Well, they're actually correspond better now. I better put it there because that's where I was going to at first. Now, I've got to make sure that I get it all right. So, if I do it about there. Remember, I very nearly went across the middle of it just then. Uh, not very good at this at the best of times, but I'm doing it in a circular motion. Let's see, if this doesn't work, I can always glue it down the rest of the way, can't I? Doesn't matter, no problems. It's not meant to be stressful, is it? Right, there we go. I don't know if that's going to work with the tuck. Oops. Is it going to knock your glue over? Why not? Let's just try that with a bit of paper on it and see if it will work as a tuck. Right, piece of paper. Oh, I don't mind screwing up a bit. Um, did I have a piece here earlier? I'm sure I did. I don't really want to fold up. Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's hold a piece of this up. Just for argument's sake, I know it's just scruffy. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it obviously it'd be smaller, shorter. Imagine something about that height sitting in there. I don't know if it'd compromise the strength of the pocket. Um, let's see if I can find one of these circular tags and what size to go in there. 
No, I don't think that'll be a problem. If whoever gets the journal, if it does eventually become a problem, they can always take it out and glue it right down. But for the time being, I'm going to leave it like that for the option of having it as a pocket. I don't even have that straight because I can't see straight. But I think it is. It's probably just my eyes that aren't straight, isn't it? There we go. Well, that would, no, it's a, actually that is a pocket itself, but I know what I mean, I think. <laughs> I think. Let's try one of these. Sorry, excuse my arm. My arm. Yeah, yeah, I quite like that. Yeah. Um, done deal. So that one's going in there, so I've got to find a place in the other one now. So I want to try and keep doing them. I'm going to do the same size ones. So there's two sizes of these, small ones and larger ones. These are slightly larger. I'd better use that again. I'm going to shift this over. Bring this one over. I do love these beads. I've had them years and I always thought, well, what if I'm going to use those for? I think my daughter gave me the bright ones now. And I very nearly gave them away. I gave a load of craft stuff away recently. I've given it away to charities and uh, disabled people and goodness knows what else. And um, I very nearly put this box of bead things. I thought, well, no, I won't use those. And then, of course, along came this and the colours just work perfectly. So... Yes, yeah, so I'm glad I found a home for them, and they do look nice on these journals. So let's have a look. Now, I don't know how far in that's opposite one of those stenciled pages of mine. So let's have a look through and see what's on this one. I did add a couple of extra pages as well that I thought would be pretty. There's still one or two pages I want to cover completely because I hate them. That's really disgusting. It was some, um, I'll come across it in a minute, some coffee dyed paper, or tea dyed paper that I bought. Uh, I did buy it off Etsy, but I won't say the shop name, so I'm not that mean. But it said tea dyed paper, multicolored tea dyed paper, and it was a good price, and it, it looked okay in the picture. And when it arrived, it had literally just been smeared on one side with coffee and left to dry and it, it didn't even look as if it had been brushed on probably nothing it just looked awful um well i thought it looked awful i suppose it'd be great in a grunge journal if i think about it which i never do of course so i should have thought about it hmm now i had it on one of these didn't i but i've got that opposite that one let's have a look through yeah, actually it's underneath here, this yellow. Um, so I stenciled over it to give it a bit of colour because it was, looked revolting. I say it probably looked fine in a grun really grungy journal, but no, it didn't look right in this one. And I won't be buying it again. Hmm. Maybe I'll go near that one. Maybe I'll put one on here opposite that one. So it's sort of keeping it similar, but not identical. Um, now, do I want that one? It goes quite nicely. Or do I want something to set off the all the colours? That's one of these. I'm not sure if that goes or not, to be honest with you. Let's have a look, see what else I've got. Um, the other ones start to get smaller. No, that doesn't go. No, I think. Hmm. What do you think? That one? To correspond with that. Or that one? I know it disappears in a bit, but I'm going to stick with that one. Don't ask me why. If I put it there, I get to show some of the other colours as well, don't I? So, I think these are gorgeous, these pages. They they were printed out 
um, from a kit on Etsy. As I say, I will have a look through and I will definitely list these kits because if you're doing something like this or something bright and colourful, they've got some beautiful papers for it. I had a job finding a lot of boho stuff, so I was so pleased when I came across this an art journal stuff, you know, like this. So yeah, they are beautiful. But yeah, I'm gonna pop this on here. And um, yeah, what I was gonna say is I just printed it out, stenciled over it <coughs> with inks. Oh, excuse me. And I uh, just splattered it with some lovely gold acrylic paint. So let's find the right space on this one. That's it. And from about there, I think. Oh, it hasn't blocked. It's a miracle. So I was just looking to see where my little dog is. She's a, asleep on the settee. I'll have to bring her over to say hello to you one of these days. She's a little cutie. But yeah, she's asleep. Poor little thing. I mean, luckily I trimmed her short literally um, the day before this heat wave started up. It made me feel quite ill doing it. <laughs> Because it took me three hours because you have to, because her fur is so curly, it gets quite long, grows very quick. You have to, um, well I like to do it myself because she's too nervous to take to a parlour to be done. Um, she'd be terrified. So I do it myself and I've got the clippers but where her fur is curly and it's hair rather than fur, I have to clip it short with the scissors first all over and then I have to go all over with the clippers and then I have to go all over with the clippers a bit closer and then like I am at the moment I spend the next couple of weeks chasing around with the scissors snipping off little fluffy bits that keep sticking out because she's um, a lasso poo so she's lasso apso where she gets the long straight hair and she's poodle where she, where she gets the curly hair and it just keeps growing it doesn't stop growing you have to clip them and it grows outwards <clears throat> and really tangles and mats and that so but yeah I was, she was due for a clip and I did her just before this heat started but it's still been hot for her of course poor little thing but yeah it's a lot better for her now she hasn't really been able to come in here I haven't been able to come in here but she hasn't been able to come in it's been far too hot for her right one in there. Oh, that's it. There goes me. Oh, she type. I'll just check that I'm still recording. I'm still here. See how I'm doing here. Sorry if this is a bit slow and I'm a bit rusty. Um, <clears throat> I have another sip of my tea if you don't mind. I'm really dry. What I've got to say is lovely to be back it really is i have so missed it i've missed work and i've been wanting to work on my journals but if you've ever had the dreaded then you'll know that you just get so tired and i just and so achy i just couldn't do it just couldn't do anything right, anyway that's done over and done with so shut up jet now yeah. That would be quite nice. I should have one in the back. No, I don't want that. There. I'm going to put one on the bank page because I'm going to be putting on the page covering ones on the other one. Find that awful paper, cover that up. Sorry if I'm muttering, I'm not used to <coughs> speaking on camera anymore. I was going to say, it's surprising how you get out of the habit, but <laughs> I still haven't really got in the habit. Sorry about this clicking through, I'm trying to make up my mind. Right, what to do 
I'm wondering if I covered up that awful paper. Actually, I can't seem to find it anywhere now. And I wouldn't, oh, there it is. Look, I mean, that is hideous. Well, I think it is. Forgive me if you think it's lovely. And if the person who did it is watching, forgive me. But it, I thought it was pretty disgusting. I mean, that to me is not... It wouldn't be so bad if it was painted up and down with coffee, but it's just no, so... Okay. Maybe no, because I still want I still want to hide that with something. Otherwise, I'd quite happily put it on that page because it'd be nice. But if it's bright. Oh, I know it's garish, but that is the idea of this journal. Here's what I'm going to put on completely. Because what I might do, I think that's the next one down, put its partner up there. That one I've done it so it looks like the sun is going down. You know, have you seen them on those clocks and watch faces where the sun goes down and the moon comes up? That's what I was thinking of. Ah, there you go. That's it. Yeah, I'm going to put that one there. It's no point in me humming and ahhing about it because I won't, won't make a decision, will I? It's a little rubbish. It is a beautiful evening, but a bit, bit early for the birds to come out yet. Yeah, I'll be out in about half an hour or so, I should imagine. That's when we get, when it just starts to the sun starts to go down completely and then we get the um the blackbird usually starts it off. Go up and round that way. I think I can hear him in the distance now on one of them. Yeah, I can hear him. I'm trying to get this straight. And what I'll probably do is decorate the fronts of these pockets later. But because they're smaller, they can just go in now. And it gets it started, doesn't it? It gets something on the pages. If I don't like what I'm doing, I can always take it out, cover it up, or do something with it. But at least, you know, I feel like I'm getting on and doing something. And it's getting these started filling up. I was so pleased that I did manage to get them stitched before I was unwell. quite like that actually. I know you're probably thinking it's way too bright but that was the idea of this journal. Bright, colourful, arty, boho, you know, all the um, the 60s hippie vibe I suppose. And I was a young teenager in the 60s so I can remember all the bright colours and everything it was wonderful. So there and there. So now I'm going to find a page. Oh, that one dries. This is handy actually, because while one's drying, you can do another one. Now, art glitter should stick pretty well. It usually does, doesn't it? Perhaps I can go near the front with this one. Um, can we find a similar sort of page. Mm, looks like this one. Oh, it hasn't got the splattered has it that's got splattered that's got a thingy there a pocket oh no i don't think i've got another one the same as that page where one splattered and well we're the both splattered oh, can't speak now both splattered but one is some um, music so that's music and that's like they're both decorated aren't they let's have a look just make sure there's no others I'm trying to keep it similar. You know, I'm not trying to do them identical. I didn't want them identical originally, so I thought it'd be much more fun to do them slightly different. And nobody has anything the same then, do they? Which is lovely, you've got something unique. Um, yeah, I definitely want to put them near the front. Is that page? Is that a bit...
actually, yeah. Yeah, they really boost that, don't they? Too much maybe, but uh, I like it. And I'm not going to hum and hour over it, so there we go. Let's just get these in. As usual, wiggly line. Yeah, it's strange because today, in the UK, or the South East anyway, in the UK, um, because of this new variant that's just been found, they've brought forward the rollout of the autumn vaccine. And instead of having it in a month or two's time, they've started it today. <clears throat> but today is just for housebound people over 65. But as it's for over 65s, apparently we're all going to be notified and my partner and I are both over 65, so we're obviously going to get a booster um, in the next few days, I should imagine, which is good. A bit late for me, but, you know, and the lucky thing about it, when I did get it, I had um, a bit of chest trouble with it, like you do, but... I'd luckily, only about a week or two before, I'd had my pneumonia jab. So that was good. So I'm sure that prevented it getting too bad. And, um, yeah, so I'm going for the... I've had, I've had all my COVID jabs so far, but we are due boosters, but not just yet. But So they brought it forward to today, roll out today for over 65. So, yeah, so I'll be going to have that very soon, which is good. Luckily my partner didn't get it, but I've got a feeling my daughter caught it off me. But I didn't know I had it. And I saw her last, but um, no, it's unfortunate. You can't always help these things, can you? <clears throat> I was looking to see where my little, my little switcher was off hidden it again from myself. I could do everything. Am I still in camera? I only just. Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm useless. Although apparently I shouldn't keep saying that. Oh, I'm not useless. I'm trying. I'm learning like everybody else. We're all at Life is one long journey of learning, isn't it? We're a work in progress, all of us. Right, that's that in then. Let's have a look at the time. So I've got to look up because I haven't timed it anywhere else. Okay, let's see. Yes, I can, <laughs> I think. Sorry about this, I'm looking upside down at the camera, you would laugh. I don't want to move it because you'll get dizzy again. So, uh, that's it, that's them started. So what we've we done so far, putting that. <laughs> and see it. Putting this clip. Perhaps I imagine to put the other one in. No. I don't know what I've done, it's at the back of this one, isn't it? I'm muttering to myself. We put these two in, these two pockets. And somewhere in here, we've put, I've got another flip there that I made to put in. That is actually in. And that's, I don't know if I showed you these or not. That stencil on the back and got washi tape and everything on it. And that's a flip out journal on. And uh, let's go through and just find this other pocket that I've put in. Oh, that's it. And we've put that circular pocket there. In fact, when I look at it, I'm thinking of, I'm going to glue it right in because I think that's going to keep flapping forward. And I don't think that would be very good. So and if you can see what I'm doing, you probably can't, you know what I'm like. I'll tell you, I'm gluing the back of the pocket. It's 
bit too flimsy, I think, for um, putting things behind. And there's going to be plenty of pockets in this, I can assure you. And plenty of places to put things, so it doesn't really matter. That's it, that's I'm happy about that now, because it feels more, a lot more secure. Okay, so, that's it, I think that's done them so far. Yeah, quickly show you the other one. Right, the flip at the front, which I'm really pleased with. I do love these pages, they're so pretty. Page edge decoration that I made and put in. I've made a few of those, I've never made them before. That was nice. Put that one in there, and that one's also going to be, especially because it's on a flimsy page, isn't it? Because I'm stupid. In you go. Change of plan. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You can change our minds in our journals because. They are journals and we're making them. If that's how we design them, then that's how they're meant to be. And no, they can argue with that. Which is true, isn't it? There's that one. And then we'll quickly flip through that awful page. You didn't see that. Disgusting. God, I'm sorry to be so rude about it, but it is awful. That's the centre page, I love that centre page. Ooh, I'll do it the other side of it. Ooh. Oh, it needs to I've put in. So yeah, I'm very pleased with those. Oh yeah, and there's another. That's probably the one I just showed you, isn't it? I just decided it's going to stick a bit. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't show you this one. That and I stenciled on the other side to come go with the colours as best I could. The colours there. And that folds over. That one's out that way and you can write on there. You can write on that side as well, of course. All these pages that I stencil are so that they can be written on as well. So that's about it, I think, for now. I will continue with that. And uh, next time I'll show you what I've done in it. Um, I did, however, I was well enough, what was it? I did go to a boot fair um, before I got really ill. I went to a boot fair and I got some really nice bits and pieces, some craft bits for a change and some lovely old books. And then I went to one uh, Saturday, just gone with my daughter and it was only a little one that's local, and I didn't think there'd be much there. It was only a small craft fair. But I got some gorgeous books, three or four, I think I got from there. I mean, I got myself a couple of reading books, and I've got a couple of other bits, but I got some old books. Uh, some of them are small, and they're hardbacked. And the covers, well, they're, they're very old. I think one of them is 1934. <clears throat> and they're, um, some of them got little bits of writing in and stuff like that. You know, two so-and-so on their birthday, 19, blah, blah. And um, the covers are gorgeous. So what I might do is, is gut them, use the covers, and I don't want to lose the integrity of the books because they're so lovely or who they went to. So I'm going to try and make them into <clears throat> junk journals, but somehow keep some of the cover and now I don't want to completely cover out with decoration. And the actual pages are gorgeous as well. They're all different like size print. And they're all very old and yellowed. Um, one of them, they're really way for thin and tissuey. The others are, are thicker. But they're really, really lovely books. Uh, the only thing is... Often, I don't know if I've got the heart to rip them apart. I know I will. Eventually I will. I'll just do it and that, that'll be it. But I... 
I'm a lover of books and I always used to think you'd, I mean, I'd never turn a corner on a page. Well, it's, it's dreadful. I don't like that. It's the way I was brought up. And um, yes, yeah, so I've got these lovely books. And what I'll do, um, either next video or the one after, I'll do a haul of the stuff that I got from both boot fairs combined. And uh, yeah, I think you'll I think you'll quite enjoy it. But anyway, till then. Um, I'll leave you in peace and thank you so much for joining me. It's been lovely having you here and I hope you're all well. And, um, yeah, um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.